Welcome to On Point with ArcherPoint, where we cover issues, news, and updates regarding Microsoft Dynamics NAV and the world of ERP in general. ArcherPoint, your North American NAV partner. Let's get to the point. Here's Tom Marcello. One of the most interesting aspects of the equipment rental industry is the plethora of ways in which equipment rental companies calculate and bill their clients for the rental of their equipment. Options include everything from daily utilization billing to monthly rentals with excess usage charges to giving a customer the best price possible based on a daily, weekly, or monthly price. Depending on the billing model your company uses, if your rental software solution falls short in automating the billing, it can cause inefficiencies in your business and create additional work for your staff. Let's talk about how Sweet Engine RPM, otherwise known as Rental Process Management, can improve your business with its advanced billing functionality to help manage your rental billing. To give you an idea of the billing flexibility, let's first discuss the RPM billing codes functionality and we are going to address this field by field. The code field contains the unique billing code that is assigned to this. We suggest you use a meaningful code to describe the type of billing. For example, monthly ARR indicates you would be billing the customer every month in arrears. Description. This field allows you to enter a description for the type of billing. So as I just mentioned, monthly in arrears would be a good example for that description. The billing recurrence type field tells the system how you want the billing recurrence to occur. There are three choices for this field, one time, every, and specific day of the month. For our example, we would choose every. This field works in conjunction with the recurrence number of periods field and the recurrence period type field described next. So the recurrence number of periods field contains the amount of periods for the billing recurrence type specified. So building on our monthly in arrears example, the billing recurrence type is every. So you would enter one in this field because we want to bill every one month at a time. The recurrence period type field has three options, either days, weeks, or months. Select the option that applies to the type of billing code you are creating. In our example, we would of course choose months. Period detail type is a field that defines how the period is calculated, which can be different from the billing recurrence. It can be set to either one time or every. If you choose every, you must choose a detail number of periods and detail period type, which are described next. The detail number of periods field contains the amount of periods if the period detail is set to every, like I just mentioned. The detail period type field tells the system how often you want the period to occur. And there are three choices for this field, days, weeks, and months. The next field is the billing type field. This field has two options, rental or sale. Since RPM allows you to both rent and sell goods and services on each rental contract, you need to define the billing type for each code. The bill at field is defined as if the billing type is set to sale, you would just leave this blank. But if the billing type is set to rental, you are provided with two options, beginning of period in advance or end of period in arrears. So for the beginning of period or billing in advance, you would select this option if you always want the invoice to be generated on the first day of the period. And then conversely, for the end of period or in arrears, you would select that option if you want to invoice um, at the end or the last day of that period. End of rental field. This field is used to define how RPM calculates the end of the rental. Your choices are indefinite, estimated, or actual. Indefinite means we do not know when the end date of this contract is going to be. Estimated allows you to choose an estimated end date, but the system will continue to process the rental beyond that date. And actual means you know the actual end date, and RPM will not continue to process the rental after that date. So that could be something like an event rental. Duration type is a field that defines how the system treats each duration. The choices in this field dynamically change based on the detail number of periods and detail type chosen. For instance, if your detail number of periods was 28 and your detail type was days, then you can select either days or 
28 days as your duration type. However, if your detail number of periods was one and your detail type was days, then you can only select days. Lastly, let's talk about the price type field. This field allows you to select how you want to calculate the price for this billing code. The choices in this field dynamically change based on the detail number of periods and detail type. For instance, if your detail number of periods was 28 and your detail type was days, then you can select either per day, per 28 days, or you can choose to calculate the lowest price, otherwise known as best price. Now I recognize that this is a lot of detail. However, it is important to lay the groundwork for just how powerful and flexible the RPM billing codes functionality is out of the box. These codes provide you with the power to bill monthly, weekly, daily, every 28 days, every 30 days, in arrears, in advance, indefinitely, or even by calculating the best price for the customer. However, it does not stop there. RPM also provides you with the ability to define utilization-based billing. This is a common billing model in the oil and gas rental industry. Often, large oil and gas companies negotiate equipment rentals that allow them to be billed based solely on the utilization of the equipment on a daily basis. Using any of the billing codes that we define, you can set each day of the rental to be billable or not billable and have RPM automatically calculate the proper price for the invoice when you generate that invoice. It is very easy to set the days of non-use as non-billable days using RPM. RPM billing code functionality provides your company with the flexibility it needs to handle almost any conceivable billing scenario. This helps your company gain efficiencies it might otherwise not have and gives you peace of mind that your clients are being billed accurately, thus reducing your accounts receivable workload. Thank you for joining us today for On Point with Archer Point. To learn more about today's broadcast, visit us at www.archerpoint.com.